Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at a product from Gradio. Now this here is our model number KC-806 and it's a Bluetooth slash CD slash radio player with built-in battery. Now before that, thank you to Gradio for sending this in free of charge for the purposes of this review, but at no time are they going to be reviewing this video before it goes up, and all the opinions you're about to hear are entirely my own, and nobody's paying for me to say anything in particular about this product. So if it's good, I'll let you know. If it's bad, I'll let you know just as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty, so here we have the product in its box, and it's a very simple looking box. It's just got a graphic of the CD player here with just music player. There's no branding or anything like that. On the side, we do have the different language checkboxes. This one's going to be the US version. On the top of the box, we do have some specs about the product. I'm going to leave this here. You can pause if you want to read through it, but it is the KC-806 model. And then on the other side, we do have the different colors that this product is available in. Although the company that I got this from only offers it in blue and pink, with blue being the version we're taking a look at today. And then on the back of the box, we just have like quick instructions for using the product. I'm not gonna go through everything, but you can go ahead and pause and read if you like. And it opens up like so, and right away we do see the product there, which I'm just gonna pop out, take a look at everything else that's in here. And then taking this out, we do have a power adapter here, a little wall plug. And I'm gonna leave this here in case you're really curious to see what specs it offers. Next, you get a remote control for controlling the device with a quick start slash user manual. Next in the box, we do get a USB-A to a USB-C cable, which I'm probably not gonna use, but it looks like it's of considerable length. And then next up, we do have a three and a half to three and a half millimeter a stereo jack here so you can plug this into a computer or if you still have a phone with a three and a half millimeter jack you can plug this directly into the product the remote control here which i'm just going to pull out just a little bit it is very light it does come in white regardless of the color of the uh, speaker that you get but it does have all of the controls you need from power bluetooth Switching from USB mode, FM, if you want to repeat a song, scan is for the radio, if you switch to CD, and then the controls for your media, including volume, mute, mode, and then the buttons here, these are for pushing, if you want track number five on your CD or track number one, and then it does have a sleep timer, which is very nice if you like uh, falling asleep to the radio, or if you fall asleep to listening to podcasts, you can connect your phone via Bluetooth or auxiliary and set up a sleep timer. Now it feels very light, so I assume there's no batteries in here. Just like that, there is no batteries, but I do have some right here. They use as a AAA batteries that I'm just gonna go ahead and install so we can have this at the ready. Very simple, very nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up here. And we'll take a closer look at the uh, CD player. Alrighty, so I removed the CD player from the bubble wrap just so that it doesn't make a lot of noise on the audio track, but this is what this looks like. The front here has space for your CD as well as what appears to be the little holes for the speakers. This is where the sound would come out of. And before you use it, it's important to remove the little protector here because it does default to CD player and it's going to try spinning this and of course it can damage your product but i'm going to go ahead and just remove it like so and that's what that looks like it does have a little light here that turns on if if it's your uh, if you're on a bluetooth or cd it's just going to light up in different accents there so it looks nice and then like i mentioned prior these little holes here is where the sound comes out of this one here has a protruding back that's at a 75 degree angle so that you can stand it up like so and it sits nicely on your desk or table or hi-fi setup, if you will. But taking a look around, we don't have nothing on this side. On this other side, we do have our power USB-C. This is just for charging. You can't plug anything in there. With a little, what I assume to be a little light for indicating whether it's charged or not. USB, so you can plug in a USB drive with music and it'll play. And then your headphone slash auxiliary. And then taking a look at the back, we do have ventilation on the top here for the CD player. And what I assume to be the subwoofer ventilation hole so that the bass is a little more bassy per se. So it allows the air to recirculate on the inside of the speaker so it sounds better. KC-806, but the speakers are rated for 10 watts. 
and the rated voltage there. On the top here, we do have a display mode button, volume down, volume up, back, pause, play, forward, and yeah, little display. Go ahead and flip the switch on. It says hi. And it defaults to CD, and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, turn the volume down because I am going to cycle through the modes. And cycling to the next one, it's Bluetooth, and yes, it does use the iPhone marimba notification sound for Bluetooth, both when you connect to it and when you activate Bluetooth, which is interesting. And I've already connected my phone to this just to try it out and get some idea how it works. Going on to the next one here, radio, line in. And it cycles back to CD. Now you notice that it didn't go through USB. It's not actually a function that you can access without plugging in a USB drive. So we have a little USB here with a micro SD card with some music. And what I'm gonna do is uh, just plug it in here. And this is, means there's no disc, but yeah, once you plug it in, it goes directly to your USB. And it starts playing back that track that you were playing there last in the same spot, which I think is very neat. And you'll see here it's green. I'm going to go ahead and pull out a CD here. This is by Oakland Faders Scion CD Sampler Volume 12 from like 2005, 2006-ish. It is a promotional CD given out at a card show. But the reason why I picked this is because I like the cover. The cover is a CD of the CD is a wheel. And then the edges is the uh, turntable speed indicators there. So I think that looks pretty cool. And I shouldn't get any content matches on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop the CD in. Switch on over from... There we go. We're in CD and we're just going to let it spin up. I'm not going to turn up the volume. I'll give you a dedicated sound sample of the speaker in just a second because I am recording my voiceover in mono but it spins up the CD just fine again the shutter speed on my camera is not going to show the design spinning but it's nice that you can have this sitting down in your studio home home studio or hi-fi hi setup if you really want to or wherever you play your music and it displays your CDs so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and give you a sample of the CD quality, sound quality, as well as auxiliary, Bluetooth, and radio before we jump into the final review, which I'm going to review or do about a week from today because I'm going to take a look at this product and use for like the next week so that we can get a uh, thorough analysis as to what this product is like and whether or not I recommend it. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump to these samples. I dedicate this one to every neighborhood on every side of each bridge. Globally, we know for being selfly to stay culturally rich, totally unique, emotionally I'm linked to the place I'm from. Like many in Olympia, Griffith says she feels a connection to McClure and the life experiences she reveals through her art. Last month's calendar was Alrighty, now for the review portion of this video, and I've been using this product for the last week now, and since then I've been able to gather my thoughts and opinions about the product, which I'm going to be breaking down into five separate categories, ranging from battery life, build construction, sound quality, any issues I may be having, and a miscellaneous section in case I forget anything, or if there is something about the product I can't really categorize into the aforementioned categories. Anyway, getting started with a build construction, it's a very nicely built product, although it's all plastic, it's got some nice weight to it, which I assume is because of the speakers and the battery life, or the batteries inside, but one of my favorite features is that it is angled, I think it's a 75 degree angle is what they mention on the listing, but it's nice because you can just prop it up on your on your end table, on like me, I have it on my headboard there, which is where I like to listen to my music and any other things that I may be falling asleep to, but I do like that it's angled so you can have it propped up and you get to see whatever CDs you have in here, or just overall, it makes up a good part of whatever hi-fi system you want to make this a part of, if that's the sort of thing you're going for. 
Now moving on to sound quality, you're not going to get the booming bass that you would get out of a normal Bluetooth speaker, but the sound quality you do get is rather decent. Actually, it's more than decent. It's fine. It's not going to have that booming bass like I mentioned, but it has just enough bass and treble in the mids where it's a nicely balanced sound. It's not going to sound too bassy or too tinny where it's just not very good. But overall, the sound quality that comes out of these speakers is great. And they are stereo speakers. I did run a stereo speaker test on them, and they do have the left and rights. And I'm sure you can see the speakers down here, one right here and one right here. I thought the whole thing was the speakers, but they're uh, they're both down there. But they do sound great, and you'll, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Now, moving on to battery life. I got about two days' worth of battery life on a single charge, and I did plug it into charge completely after I used the battery the first night. And that's when I started my tests. And the way I ran this test was running a TV show in the background while I went to sleep with uh, Bluetooth. And it was able to last two nights, which is about 20 hours. So yeah, around 24 hours or two days worth of use. So you do get decent battery life on this. And I did have it at max volume. Now, moving on to the uh, issues or anything like that, I didn't really have any sort of issues with the product, except maybe when you're trying to connect to Bluetooth, I did have to cycle across Bluetooth a couple of times just to get it to try to connect to my device. But other than that, once you're connected, it connects automatically, and it does default to uh, the CD player when you turn it off and then turn it back on again. And in terms of the CD player, you do get a good quality CD player out of this. I'm not going to be reviewing it hi-fi wise because it's, it's a regular CD player and it does just fine with the speakers that it includes. Now I do like that it includes a USB so you can plug in a regular thumb drive and play your music off of that. But one of the issues that I do have is that it remembers the time code per se, of the song or audio that you were listening to last, which may be something that's a good thing, but I see it as a negative because if I plug in a USB drive with X song, and then I unplug it and plug it in with a different song, let's say Y song, Y song is going to pick up where X song left off. So that's one thing that I would change about this and one of the major annoyances that I have with this. Similar with CDs, if I put in another CD that's not the one that's in here now, it'll remember the last track that was playing on this CD with a new one. So it does have a memory per se, but it doesn't really know how to use it that well. So that's one thing that I would change is just have it reset whenever you, you turn it on again so that that doesn't happen. Now another thing is, with the uh, buttons here, it doesn't have USB in par as part of the menu. It goes through CD, Bluetooth, radio, and auxiliary. Once you plug in USB, it automatically connects to USB regardless of where you are. But it'd be nice if it did include a USB option for that. But that's just a minor thing. Another thing that I would actually change is the sound levels for the radio because I do feel like the radio is a little too hot in terms of sound or audio volume versus the uh, sound levels that you get out of USB or Bluetooth. Because I sometimes like to fall asleep to the radio. I did have this on level 1, which is the lowest. 30 is the highest. And even level 1 was still a little bit too high considering I had this right over my head. Uh, the other radio that I have, which is somewhere right here, does get considerably lower. So that's one thing you should know. And it doesn't have an AM band. So if AM radio is sort of your vibe, this doesn't have AM radio, which is fine. Not many people are uh, listening to AM radio, and I wouldn't really consider this something that I would purchase for AM radio listening, but it is something that I'm going to mention here. Now, the final thing that I would really change is perhaps maybe on the screen display having a battery life indicator, just because there's really no way for me to tell how much battery life there is. Although I do notice when the battery is getting low because the volume on the overall speaker starts to get noticeably lower and lower eventually to the point where it gets low enough where it starts beeping at you because it's got low battery but other than that it's a great player to have if you're going to be having it connected to uh, the wire most of the time that you do have it you're not going to get any of those battery life issues that i got or need a battery life indicator but if you are going to be using this on the go it is something you want to consider when you use this but other than that, if I was to recommend this product, whether or not I would recommend it, that would be a solid yes. It's a great product to have if you do have a CD collection that you want to listen to, or if you just want to have a stylish looking Bluetooth media player, or a radio player, or if you just want to hook anything up to it and listen to your music like that, that's great. 
to to have is something like this now if you're interested in taking a look at this product i'll link it down below it does come in blue and pink this is the blue model uh, but with that being said if you have any questions comments or concerns about the product let me know down in the comments section below and i'll get to you as best i can thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next video